crowd. Good crowd. Hey, you beat Charles Barkley. That's pretty exciting, right? Yeah, it was close. <laughs> it was I, close. He I was think good. I was. I think I was favored by one and a half, so I lost. If you were betting, yes, <laughs> yes. you're a big sports fan in general, right? Not just uh, playing. I am. I'm it. a sports fanatic mm -hmm. uh, with my hometown town sports. I'm very superstitious. I. Uh, it's it's really hard because I root for the Jets. Oh uh, yeah. And I yeah. look for. Um, I look for any sign. You know, I, I had uh, uh, the other day, uh, during this season, we were going to the game. Me and my kids were going to the game. This is kind of a gross uh, sign that I found oh. where I thought the Jets were going to win. And I told my boys that. I go, I think we're going to win today because this morning when I was cleaning up, I threw my Q-tip in the trash can and it landed standing up. It stuck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And like I a thought, javelin. <laughs> where anyone else would have thought, well, that's gross, I thought, that's a sign. <laughs> yes. And did the Jets win that they game? Didn't win. They that's did not, not win. That's not a sign. It's so not maybe... a sign at all. <laughs> Your son, Matt, works here at the show. He's been working here for quite a while. And I'll tell you something, everybody loves him, too. He's a good kid. Yes, he's, he's a good well kid. Liked. In spite of me, he's a good kid. I'm, I'm very surprised Are you that really? I don't screw my kids up. I'm a good, you know, I, I don't think I'm a bad dad. I just know I'm neurotic, you know, I. I play little games. I play little hypothetical games with them. My wife tells me I need to stop this. Like what? Uh, I did, the one I did with Matt uh, was when he was like about eight and he was just getting into basketball. We were in the backyard and I said to him, uh, Matt, if I gave you two shots, if someone gave you two shots and all you gotta do is make one. And if you do, you get all the money in the world right under the basket. But if you miss them both, you lose your leg. <laughs> And I'm, yes, and I'm saying this to an eight-year-old. And, and he thought about it, you know, and he says, I don't know. And I said, all right, forget about it, forget about it. And then two days later, we were driving in the car, and from the back seat, he goes, Dad, would your leg just fall off or would they have to cut it off? <laughs> That's a really good question. Yes, and I told him, I guess they got to cut it off. He went, all right, I'm not doing it. He said, I'm not doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's not healthy. Yeah. That's not healthy. You, so you like to pose those. Is it a test for them to see if they get the right answer? No, there's no right answer. There's it's no just right some answer. sick thing. I, I, Did your yeah. father do that sort of thing to you? My father had a, um, he had a sense of humor that was so dry, and only we got it. <laughs> he drove my wife crazy. When we, when we first got married, he, uh, he, you know, this was back in the day with answering machines. We actually had this in the pilot episode of Everybody Loves Raymond. And, and he learned the code to play back our messages. So he would call from outside, hear our messages, and then he would leave a message saying, you know, hey, Anna, you, you, your friend Linda went to the gynecologist. Maybe you should, whatever, yeah. And my wife would freak. You know, she would be like, that's reading our mail. That's... And she wouldn't get it, you know, and I'd have to tell my father, I'd say, you know, Dad, you know, I get it. It's funny. It's funny. She doesn't get it. She doesn't get it. And he goes, ah, come on. I go, please stop. And so I thought I handled it. And then the next time I called my house to listen to my messages, he found a way. There's also a code where you can change your outgoing message yeah. from outside. <laughs> so instead of hearing, hey, this is Ray and Anna, leave a message, I'm listening to my machine, and it's, a, uh, hey, this is Al Romano. Yeah, if you want Ray and Anna, they're not here right now. But if you want me, Al Romano, I'm at 268-200. <laughs> and I gotta tell you, my wife, here's the thing. <laughs> I do have to thank my father because I think without him, I never would have heard my wife say the word <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <Yeah. laughs> I'm sorry. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and this is the internet. I made it myself. Hit subscribe if you like it.